The RESA licensing dashboard gives users a convenient place to review all software products and licensing types, in addition to giving users the ability to update software and set license type priority, ensuring that all available licenses and license types are being accessed when they are needed. To open the licensing dashboard, we first need to navigate to its location on our computer. So if I go to the C drive, program files, RESA, and utilities, I'm going to go ahead and open up the licensing dashboard just by double clicking. Now we'll first be presented with the login for the RESA licensing service. This is the same login that you use for the software or that you use for the customer portal. So I'll go ahead and sign in. And when we're signed in here, we'll first arrive on the installed products page. So this initial page is just a listing of all current software installed on the local machine, including the version information, whether or not the software is up to date, and also the main license type. The next two pages here on the left-hand side in the navigation are the USB keys, so this is information about any attached standalone licenses. Also, any included or current local network licenses. The next tab is the Licenses tab. So here you can see for the account, all the different licenses that are associated with this account. So in this case, we can see that we've got our subscription licenses, the number of seats we hear, and then also the expiration date for those seats. We also have some standalone licenses and network licenses that were tied to this account. In these cases, these have expired. Now, if I jump back into the Installed Products tab, we can see that there's some other features that we can utilize here. The first is we can automatically just choose to update any out-of-date software. So if there's a new version of any software available, we can go ahead and click Update, and it would automatically launch the download. The other really nice feature here is we can configure the license priority for our software. So if I go ahead and click the Configure button next to Risa 3D, we see that the Change License Type Priority interface opens. Configuring the license priority allows a company that has a combination of subscription, network, and or standalone licenses of the same product to set up users in such a way that the software can automatically detect if all software of a specific license type is in use, and then proceed to try to access the software using the next license available in the list. So in this list, the key or standalone license is always listed first and therefore will always take priority since it would be locally attached to the local machine. We can then adjust the order of the next license type to be utilized using the sliders. So in this case, I have the subscription license or the network license. I can go ahead and slide these back and forth if I had multiple versions or multiple license types available on my machine. When we finish making updates, we can click the Save Changes to complete the update. This same license type priority configuration is available for RESA 3D as well as RESA Connection and will be available soon for all our other software products. For more information about RESA, RESA products, and licensing, please visit RESA.com.